And we are back, Cyber Babies. This is Emily Peachy. She is a movie star, bona fide movie star. She is in the film with Ewan McGregor. And you're playing, oh, no, this is the American Pastor, right? Yes. And this is about? It's, um, it's actually based off of a book, mm -hmm. but it's about these two people. The, you watch them grow up at the beginning of the film, and the dad is this perfect high school athlete, and the mom is this beauty queen, and they have this daughter who ends up being a terrorist. And what, what character do you play? I'm a young nurse in the film. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes, so it's it's a really cool role. I, I have this vintage outfit that was very... Oh, so this is a period piece. It goes through, it travels through time. Mm -hmm. So you start um, actually at his high school reunion, mm -hmm. and then you go back and watch the whole story and watch everyone grow up. So it's really So cool. is this a drama? Yes, very much so. What do you want people to walk away from American Pastoral? You know, it's one of those movies that's really going to make you think. So everyone's going to take something different away from it. Don't you like those yes, kind of... those are the best. I, I don't want to just come out and it's just a bunch of noise. Right. Right. We come Mom, we go, girl, did you see so-and-so and such and such and yes. so-and-so? And what did you think about this? That's when you know that you've done your job. Right. When people are talking about it when they walk out of the movie theater. Right, and people are going to be talking about it for days and everyone's going to take something different away. It's cool seeing people leave the movie theater. And people... So you, it's already premiered? Yes. Okay, yes. so what's been the feedback on it? It's been really great feedback. Mm -hmm. It's been great. People have loved it. Mm -hmm. um, it's sad. It kind of hits on all the emotions. So it's a great... See, that's what I, I like in film. You know, even being in the movies and having done 13 movies, yes, I am a bona fide movie star. Thank you very much. <laughs> I've never been an extra. I don't do extra work. Would yeah. you do extra work? Um, it depends on the project. If it was something that I just love or with by a director or producer or something that I loved, I might do it. Just see, for fun. And it, all of it is good. Yeah. All of it is good. But see, when I came out here, I already had a reputation. I already had a foundation built. So, right. you know, I didn't have to go through a lot of what you all have to go through, yes. which is very fortunate for me. Yeah. But now I did. <laughs> they, they, look, they don't care about anything about any of that. What is going to give you longevity in this business? I think working for it. Mm -hmm. I think that's what's going to make you last. I think um, the harder you work, the more results you see. It's just true. You know, I've been talking to you for quite some time today, and I haven't heard one personal thing about you. Mm -hmm. Like, do you have a love life? You got a boyfriend? You married? Do you want to get married? You want to have kids? What's the last book you read? What's your favorite <laughs> color? All that. Um, okay, <laughs> so um, I think like family, marriage, I'm not married or anything mm -hmm. yet, but I want that mm -hmm. in life. For sure, and I definitely want to do the whole marriage kids thing. Would you marry an actor or somebody I in the business? I don't, I don't think it matters. Like, I like who I like. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's, you know, you're an actor, so I have to rule you out. Okay. You know, I don't think it's like that. Um, and there's perks to dating people in the business because they get your whole lifestyle, mm -hmm. but then it's cool not to because then they keep you, they don't know anything about it, and that's mm -hmm. awesome too. So, um, yeah, I definitely want to do that, but right now I really want to focus on my career because, like I said, this is the, the only chance I'm going to get to do this. This so, is, this this is what, it. and you got to do it when you got to do it because, right. you know, tomorrow's not promised to any of us. Exactly. Now, you, are work, you have worked with Ewan McGregor, with uh, Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Who do, would you like to work with? Johnny Who's Depp. A, Johnny Depp? Johnny Depp. Or, or Mickey Rourke because I love him. You, we don't know what he looks like anymore, though. He was in my favorite movie, one of my favorite movies, and I would love to work What, with what him. was the favorite movie? The Wrestler. Uh, he did a great job in he that. But killed he it. Just, I mean, he really, really did a great job in that. I was really proud of him, but I, my thing is, he, I remember what Mickey Work used to look like. Yeah. And he was so fine. Yeah. And then, I don't know what, who put that plastic big head <laughs> on him. He's so good, though. He's such a great actor. He's a great actor. He such did not actor. need to do that to his face. Oh, and Natalie Portman, because I love her. Too. Oh, I like her too. She's a great actress. Now, would you ever consider going under the knife? No. <laughs> no. You wouldn't fix anything? Because I said this. If it's not, why would, what do you mean, what, uh, um, do I want to fix anything? Nothing not is broke. broken. That's what I mean. Nothing is broken. I did want to get a burst uh, augmentation, though, after I had lost a lot of weight. And the doctor says, uh, you know they only last 15 years. And I go, oh. yeah. He goes, well, at your age. I'm like, what you mean at my age? What? So I, uh, he was, he was telling the truth. Oh, he no. will tell the truth. You got to uh, listen. You have to listen to the truth and yes. hear what it is. At my age, and at that time, I was 45. He said, I can do this, but I'm telling you, they're only gonna last for 15 years. So mm -hmm. I says to him, okay, 15 years, I'll be 60. So why don't you just put them on my back so when they start sliding, they'll be right here. And I'll have some perky girls at 80. He said, if you don't get your crazy self out of my office. So needless to say, I didn't get it. 
you know, because so many people are so... Tell me your take as a 26-year-old young woman in this business where you see all of this body shaming going oh, yeah. on. What would you say to these young girls, especially in the business, and then just young girls out there? I think just love yourself. I mean, not that I, I criticize anybody who wants to do anything like that, because I don't at all, it's to each their own, but um, you know, love yourself mm -hmm. and, and don't pay attention to everything that's going on around you. You know, do you think the internet helps or hurts? Hurts, for sure, 100%. Who's your favorite musical group? Ooh, I don't know that I have one right now. Well, I, you're I only like, 26, you know. Well, I like, I mean, I like random songs and I like random musicians, but I don't know if I have somebody that I, it's like my absolute favorite, mm -hmm. but I, I well, see, in, in your, I mean, you guys have grown up in this technological age, you know, yes. where everything is a button, everything is yeah. instant access. Yep. You, I, you know what scares me? Mm -hmm. That, and I love that you're so grounded because you're going to have to be, I'm just letting you know this, you're going to become a teacher, whether it's an instructional teacher, but people are going to learn from you by example, the example that you set. You're, I'm letting you know. Yeah. You can really set a bar, baby. I hope so. Because, I mean, where else can they go? You can't limbo on the floor. Very true. You know, you got to bring the bar up. And we need young people like you to bring the bar up, to say, no, this is who I am. I respect my body. I trust my judgment. And you don't like it, kiss my grits. Yes. Well, since you don't have a big enough brick, something to kiss my nose, that's what you get. <laughs> and would you that. think about writing your life story? I think I would at some point. I well, got to live a little well, bit I was going to say, you know, you're 26. You don't know crap from apple butter. chapter two now. Yeah, but, yeah. Like, maybe you might be just on the four <laughs> you know, at, at this time. Have you ever had your heart broken? Yes. I think everybody has. I think that's part of life and growing up. And I think you need one heartbreak at least in your life. No, actually, you need three. Okay. You need three good heartbreaks. Yes. And don't let them be the same. Right. You know, let them rip your heart out this way. You know, and what I found out too is you can have your heart broken not just by a man. One of my dearest girlfriends, she broke my heart so bad. Yeah. I mean, I must have cried for two days and I kept saying, I can't believe I'm crying like this. I was so funny. It's true. No, that's true. I've had that too. Uh, see, you know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. Friendships, same way. So, and how are your friendships out here now? I mean, you've already been here two and a half years. Yeah, I mean, I have some great friends. I was very lucky that I, I was able to meet such incredible people out here. And then I have friends that I knew from the East Coast who mm -hmm. are out here too, who aren't in entertainment, and that's refreshing. That's really good, because you need that gr you need that you grounding. Do. You do. Tell people how they can get in touch with you. I am on every social media platform. There is <laughs> Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and it's at ePeach, and that's at E-P-E-A-C-H-H. You are just a love. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining oh my gosh, it was so me. May the universe here. continue to open up and conspire for your oh, great success. You. This is Emily Peachy. Remember that face? Remember <laughs> she knows what the fuck I'm just saying. <laughs> and remember, babies, no matter how big or tall, short or small, thick or thin, it matters not what skin you're in, everybody needs some other love now and then. Peace, babies. <laughs>